So, I just wanted to do some practicing tonight. And actually, it's, as we all know, the world has had a little bit of a tough time this year. And there have been a few different crises that kind of have been happening to us all and to me. And starting when we had the earthquakes, I, and I was still unemployed and a lot of stress was coming over and I found myself writing some pieces of music that were like, inspired by the crisis, but like medicine for, for the emotional state. And so the first one was written after the earthquakes hit Utah and it scared the crap out of me. The second was written in, in a collaboration with a friend um, about um, releasing, emotional release specifically with the loss of someone that she lost. And then the third one, which is a still very, very much a work in progress, all of them are, has been about sort of current things. So let's practice them. This is just practice. Thank you for joining me. Let's see if I can play some music.
So the first piece was the piece for calming down the earth after the earthquake, like almost a prayer to the earth, calm down, like a lullaby. And the second piece is a piece, the piece that um, is called release, the cycle we have of tension and release, breathing in, breathing out, emotional release that we have to repeat so many times through our life, especially if we're healing. And then this piece is the piece that is being born still right now. And that is about um, all the anxieties happening right now. <laughs> you know? Yeah, so let's see what's happening. This is, by the way, the largest instrument I own. So. Peace for right now.
tears. Ah, nice to spend the time, just the three of us. I guess the last thing I'd say is, the funny thing about this instrument is, no matter, I mean, it's not like it's the only thing, I, I only play it in the bad times or something, but no matter how awful something happens, when I play the instrument, my reaction is always in a healing direction. <laughs> I guess um, maybe there's something compassionate about the bamboo. Maybe there's something compassionate about the wonderful person who made this, the wonderful person who taught me how to play this, the wonderful people I've had the chance to play it for, but it's good therapy. So with that, wish you a good evening, cheers, namaste, au revoir, and go.